Hi guys, welcome to the Magic Paper, where I post fun and easy to follow origami tutorials weekly that can keep you creative and entertained. So if it is your first time here, consider subscribing. Also hit the little bell so you will be the first one to get notified whenever there is new content. And today, we'll be learning how to create this catapult and a basketball hoop. First, let's create the basketball hoop. And I'm using half of the A4 paper for it. Place your paper like this. Fold the corner up diagonally and leave a crease. Open it back up and fold the corner on the other diagonal. Again, you want to leave a sharp crease. Open it back up, put your paper like this, and you can see there's an intersection here. Fold your paper down like this, and make sure the crease crosses that intersection. Open it back up, and rotate your paper 90 degrees. Do the same thing again. Make sure your crease crosses the intersection. However, this time you don't have to fold it all the way, just about two thirds of the paper. And open it back up. Fold your paper along these two creases. Push it in and form a triangle. Fold the left side in, but you don't have to fold the flap up there. Do the same thing on the right side. And now you'll be able to see there is this little pocket here. Insert the flap into the pocket. And there it is, the basketball hoop. Now the catapult. And I'm using a 15 by 15 origami paper. First, fold your paper in half diagonally. Open it back up. And fold the lower edge up about 2 to 3 centimeters. Leave a sharp crease and open it back up. And now you can see there's this intersection here. And fold the lower edge up again and make sure the crease crosses that intersection. Open it back up. Place your paper like this and fold on the existing crease. And you'll be able to see this little flap up here. Fold the sides into the center crease. Turn the paper over and fold it in half. Flip the paper again and fold it in half. Fold this part here down.
Do the same thing on the other side. It should look like this after you finish. Now we can see there are two layers here. Pull out the top layer and lift it up. Make sure these two lines are in parallel. Fold this part back and make sure you can fit a little paper ball in here. To shoot the paper ball, hold on to the catapult like this and pull it in the opposite directions. And it will look like this after you finish. Now, you can crumble some papers and start shooting at the basket. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.